There the nigga name was. All right. The first time we see Tariq, Tariq laying in the bed. Now, remember, this is coming off the night that he found out that the, the baby was no longer here and also that he has to work for Diane Carter all because Diana Dirty D, if you've seen the movie, you know, if you know, you know, Dirty Diana has just drugged him into a homicide of a police officer, a detective. So right now he's kind of going through it and he's checking his text messages because, you know, whenever you wake up in the morning, the first thing you're supposed to do is you a you go to your text message. You want to make sure that there's no freak that hits you up that you may have missed the text message. That's the worst thing that could ever happen to you. She may have texted you at like 130. Are you up? And you didn't fell asleep at 115. That's the worst thing ever. Or you might hit the club. And then she's talking about make sure you text me when you get home, but you driving on your way home and you ain't checked the phone. You go home, you change and brush your teeth, put the do-rag on, you hop in the bed, and you go straight to sleep. She talking about, oh, I miss you. You come through. So the first thing you do in the morning is you always check your text messages. Then you go and check your Instagram. From there, you go to your DMs and you see what's new, what's popping on the internet. Then you go to your Snapchat. Now, I barely ever use Snapchat. I think like Snapchat's like a, I don't even know what Snapchat's for anymore. Like, but that's what Tariq is doing. He's going through his phone. He's making sure Anya ain't hit him up. Tariq, come and get me. Tariq, where you at? Can I come stay with you? Tariq, you got some blow? Or maybe Effie. Tariq, I know we had our differences, but where are you at? So Tariq is going through his phone right now. And he's like, hey, B, what you doing, man? Brayden's talking about, I'm packing up, Tariq. I'm getting out of here, man. I'm going to stay with L. He's like, dog, what do you mean you're going to stay with L? Did you not hear what I told you this morning? This nigga, Don Carter, is on some bullshit. He told me I got to use my brain, man. He told me that I need to be prepared. I need to figure out what's next for all of us. And Brayden's like, Tariq, I understand that, but that's your problem. I'm moving in with L. Not to mention, I got the whole operation from... Uh, what's the girl name that you used to fuck with? Effie. Remember, I was trying to get an Effie, but then you got an Effie after she snitched on you. Hey, come on, Brayden. Don't throw that in my face, man. Not right now. We got to deal with Don Carter. And we can't back down now because Don Carter's on that bullshit. He wants us to leverage against no one. Well, Tariq, I can't be a part of that because I got course correct from Effie. Wait a minute. How'd you get that shit from Effie? What, you fucking with my girl, man? Come on, Tariq. You know I would never do anything like that. I had to do some shit. Just congratulate me. Nah, man, that's fucked up. How'd you get that from Effie? Come on, Tariq, it's me, man. Are you going to congratulate me or not? All right, fuck it, Brayden. Okay, you got it, man. Good shit on the course, correct. But we got to figure out a way to take out this Don Carter because if not, he can pin this murder on us. Well, first of all, Tariq, stop saying us. He can pin it on y'all, you, your baby mama, and your mom-in-law. All right, well, <laughs> shit, you right. So Tariq does come to an understanding with Brayden. He's like, all right, man, fuck it. You are right about that, Brayden. What up, Trill? My dog, Y.E. Hoop, is in here. So Tariq is like, all right, man, you you right about that. He's like, shit. You know what I mean? Shit. Brayden is my dog, but no, at some point, you got to realize, man, you can't drag your people into this shit, man. You can't drag your people into this shit, man. My dog, Trill, is in here. Let me tell you a story real quick. My dog, Trill, is in here. This is Halloween of 2017. No, this is... Trill, was it 16 or 17? Whether it's 16 or 17, me and my dog Trill, we we is out here stationed out in Germany. That's my nigga, man. You know what I mean? That's my that's my dog, man. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna be great by the time he retires, man. That brother's gonna be so far advanced. That man, why he hoop, that's a two hundred thousand dollar nigga. So y'all address him properly. You know what I mean? When my dog retire, that, that's a two hundred thousand dollar a year nigga right there. No disrespect but calling my man a nigga, but that's my man's man. That's my dog, man. I watched him. He gonna be. A, I'm gonna make sure he 220 plus when he get up out the military. But it was a Halloween. We out there. We had the whole gang. I'm talking about this is this is young mo. This is young mo with the good hip. It's Halloween. I'm talking about the line is long. We standing outside trying to get in the club. We get in the club. It's some freaks in there that night. Let me tell you. And I ain't talking about. <laughs> See, y'all got your mind together. I'm saying freaks because people had the costumes on. Now it's me, my dog Trill, my dog Key. And we D, we 30 D. We bleed the block. 
there's a lot of women in there. So we in there chilling. I dap up my young dog, my young nigga Key. Like, what's happening? We in there, we kick it. So I dap Key up. You know, I had that yak in my system, straight yak back then. All I know is I turn around, I talk to Trill, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, man, this shit crazy. I turn around, some niggas is scrapping. So I'm thinking, who the fuck is scrapping? I'm thinking they jumping my dog, Key. Because I just dapped Key up. Key was standing on the stairs, and I turned around. But when I turned back around, it was like 10 niggas fighting. I'm like, God damn. But I didn't hesitate. I didn't say, God damn. I didn't say who's fighting who. I just seen a victim on the ground and proceeded to attack. I had to get in there because I thought they were jumping my young. My dog Key can handle his own, but he a little bit shorter. He a little bit lighter. You know what I mean? He probably about 130 pounds. He's only like five, six, five, seven. I thought they jumping my dog. So I had to get in on the action. Now I apologize to whoever that was, but. You got to understand where I'm coming from. I got to make sure my people make it home safe. This is young wild mo. I ain't like that no more. Now I just be chilling. I might grab a bottle. You might see me in the cut. Like, damn, what the hell mo doing over there? What he, that another bottle the mo done got. But I had to get on their ass. Pause. <laughs> Whoever that was, they caught a big boot to the face. But it is what it is. See, that's what Tariq's expected from Braden. He's like, man, you got to ride. You, you got to roll with your boy. But like, but that's kind of your thing. The only reason I got into that is because I thought they would jump on my young nigga. I'm like, man, they can't do this. It ain't fair. He can't fight back. They okay? Go nice. You know what I'm saying? I'm they okay? Go nice. <laughs> Zay said Mo jumped in and got whooped. Hey. Zay, after the age of uh, well, I well, let me not say that because there I did I did take a I did take a L when I was like twenty two, but after that, you ain't never seen or heard me take no L. <laughs> after that, you ain't heard or seen me take no L. I choose my battles wisely, <laughs> but I don't do nothing that shit no more, man. <laughs> So from here, Tariq does get with Monet. And now they got to go talk to Noma. Now they talking that real business shit. Now the business they talking about is Don Carter actually spying on Noma and wanting to get into their case. Because at this point, Don Carter is covering up the Tate murder, which I want to see if Rashad Tate is going to come back and play a role. But he also knows that Don Carter wants them to use leverage. And they're going ahead and they're laying all the cards out for Noma and saying, Noma, look. Excuse me, Don Carter wants the information about you. So we can use this. And if we play our cards correctly, we can go ahead and get Don Carter up out of here. And that way we can all eat. Now, Monet is over here. She's kind of ruining it because, you know, she ain't really doing too much talking. Monet is just sitting here looking, me mugging people. And it's like, Monet, just, just go along with it. Nod your head. But no one wants to know what information does don carter has specifically about her he's like listen we'll take out don carter just like we did with zion and then none of us will have him in our hair adrian said it's 10 20 in the uk we three characters in and it's 11 20 in germany my bad i got y'all man look adrian i'm sorry i know you over here with us you know what I'm saying in our European time zone, but you got to blame the people in the states, man. For 20 minutes, they had me talking about some nonsense. They talking about Mo tell a story. I'm like, I don't, I don't want to tell the story right now. I want to talk about Tariq. But they said, no, Mo, 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 you got to tell us a story. So then I end up telling the story, and they said, Mo, go get some drink. And I said, I don't want to get no drink. I want to do this sober like last week, so we can get four hours. They said, Mo, just get a drink, just pull up a little bit. If not, you a bitch ass nigga, and I don't want to be no bitch ass nigga. So I said. Okay, I'm gonna go give me some drink then. I'm gonna pull up a little bit. And they were like, All right, there you go, Mo. Now tell us another story. And I'm like, I don't want to tell another story. But they said, Mo, you better tell us another story or we're gonna take our likes away. And I said, No, 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 don't take the likes away. So that's why we got kind of delayed. But Tariq is like, All right, listen, Don Carter is after y'all. Now I can't give y'all too much information, but listen, trust me, he's looking for you too. And if we don't take him out, I know taking the cop out will be the worst thing and the toughest thing that we can do. It's not like we could just go over there and do it and get up out of there. But if we take out this cop, 
we will be good to go. I'm talking smooth sellings. It won't be like Castaway with Wilson. We'll be able to get on the actual ship. It will just be able to hey, sell off into the sunset. So Noma's like, all right, cool. That sounds like it'll work. And then we know about Noma and Monet getting into it with each other with the mother thing. But we'll bring that in. We'll tie that back in on Kane's story because that doesn't have anything to do with Tariq. Tariq even said, man, when y'all get done with whatever the bullshit y'all got, y'all family goddamn, what's that shit, the Brady Bunch y'all got going on? I'll let your boy. Shout out to Adrian. You know what I'm saying? Adrian, Adrian, it be them, it be them Americans, don't it? Them damn Americans be just yum, 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 yum. them damn Americans. Man, it feels good to be a European. <laughs> them damn Americans just be, huh? If it ain't they way, they get mad at you. You know what I mean? Look at Monet, mad as hell at Noma. If it ain't Noma's, if it ain't Monet's way, Monet mad. Damn Americans are so entitled. Jeez Louise. Us Europeans, we're relaxed, we're chilling, we're kicking it. You know what I mean? It's the freaking Americans. <laughs> so entitled. You guys just need to worry about your election. Let us live. <laughs> Bonjour. Guten Tag. Good day, mate. <laughs> All right, where's the next time we've seen Tariq say, uh, Tariq scam Patrick? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So Tariq does end up getting a call from Braden. He shows up. Whoa, what is that N-word? Says the... Says the Niga? Niga from... K What's Casey? The only Casey I know... Says the Niga from KC. What is KC? The only the only KC I know is FCK Football Club Kaizen Slater. Football Club Kaizen Slater. That's my home team right there. Football Club Kaizen Slater. One FCK Football Club Kaizen Slater. We're five and two right now. We're five and two right now. Football club Kaizen Slatan. That's my home team. That's where I live. Tariq gets the call and he shows up to the hospital with goddamn Braden because L's in here doing the Harlem Shake because Brusandria then set her up and gave her some fentanyl. So Tariq is just like any of us. He's like, man, all right, well, uh, okay, cool, Braden. She'll, she'll get up out of this. Niggas, niggas OD every day, B. Braden's like, nah, man, this ain't this ain't right, Tariq. Man, we got to get even. We got to get even. And Tariq is like, all right, well, let me get up out of here because I do got a meeting. I got a meeting. <laughs> and Tariq dips up out of here. The, the crazy thing is, you know what? You know what the crazy thing is? What happens after Tariq leaves here? Remember, he's supposed to be meeting up with uh, Monet. I don't even know. When did he meet up with Monet? So he meets up with Monet before he goes to the hospital to go talk to Davis. And that's when they say, tell Don Carter about Sterling uh, Reynolds. So uh, we mixed that. But he tells Tariq to go tell Don Carter about Sterling Reynolds. And Tariq is like, hey, your alliance is with me. So that's how we get the whole operations thing. Watch uh, Sterling Reynolds. But after Tariq leaves the hospital, this is what Tariq does. Hey, Brain, it's going to be all right. Niggas OD every day. He, he goes and meets up with Diana. Now, Diana is the only person I know that actually wears the same clothes twice. We've seen Diana in this Fendi jacket. And it kind of got me thinking that Diana's broke. You know, for me, seeing somebody in the same, I think we've seen Diana in this Fendi jacket before. And if I see a Tejada in the same clothes, I'm assuming that they're broke. Now, me, y'all going to see me on live. I'm going to wear the same shit all the time. So you're going to see me in a black tee, a white tee, a gray tee, a light blue tee. That's because I buy, I buy 10 tees every month. Every month, I got to buy me some fresh tees just to throw on. You know what I mean? Wrinkle free because after you wash them, the neck get a little janky. 
But we didn't seen Diana in this Fendi jacket before. I think this is the same Fendi jacket she had on when she was talking to Tariq about going to see the ultrasound. So Diana's getting a little broke. Now, Diana is sitting outside of this little schoolyard and she's looking at the little kids and she's reminiscing of what it could have been. So what does she do? She brings her little freak nasty self over to Tariq's spot. Tariq just seen that Effie was old then. Now, Effie L. Jesus, why are all these people's names similar? Effie L, Davis, Don. Like, let's split these names. There's 26 letters in the alphabet. Z, Y, X, W, V, U, T, S, R, Q, P, O, N, M, L, K, J, I, H, G, F, E, D, C, B, A. There's 26 letters in the alphabet. Let's, let's split these names up a little bit. But Diana comes over to Tariq's room. And Tariq is sitting here, and he's talking to her. And she's talking about, you know, Tariq. Sometimes I just wish I could have a, a normal life. Go back to what it was. You know, it's, it seems like there's something missing in my life. And again, Tariq doesn't even have the words to explain what's really going on. You're just sitting here and you're listening. We've all been around, like all my fellas know, you all been around a girl that was emotional and she gets to crying and you're like, what are you crying for? She's like, oh, they were just at work and they were just making me do too much and blah, blah, blah. And you're like, that's what you're crying over? I thought you was going to say someone slapped you or something, but you're just crying because they was overworking you at work. It's like, come on, guy. But you're just sitting there and you don't really know what to say. You just, it's going to be all right, man. Don't even let that get to you, man. Like, they be tripping at work. I be having to deal with that too. You know, you're lying and shit because, like, man, okay, they yell at me at work. They overwork me. I don't give a fuck. As long as my check is getting cash on the fucking next Friday, I don't give a fuck what they talk about. Hey, Mo, get your bitch ass to work. Hey, nigga, make sure you goddamn uh, accept my goddamn time card, nigga. Fuck what you talking about back there, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Make sure my check on time, bitch ass, nigga. I don't give a fuck. Hey, get to work. All right, fuck you, man. You know what I mean? But we've all been there. You like crying and shit. Like, all right, cool. But then Diana, she takes it to a whole nother level. Now, there's only been one time that I had a girl try to pull this stunt that Diana just did. And I felt a little disrespected. So Diana's thinking, oh, you know. First of all, you ain't trying to do nothing with a crying face. <laughs> Can it just go back to being perfect? So they get to kissing. I'm like, okay. You know what I'm saying? She just needs some comfort. That's all this is, some comfort kisses. Then she was like, what if, what if it could happen again, Tariq? And Tariq is thinking, what it can happen again? Like us, like us smashing, like us having intercourse or something? Like, what do you mean? She's like, yeah. He was like, are you sure? So Tariq did get consent. He was like, are you sure? She said, yes. So Tariq, like any other real nigga, he reaching for the plastic. Then Diana looks at Tariq in disgust. We don't need those, Tariq. What you mean we don't need these? Last time you was pregnant, you killed a cop. Last time you was pregnant, your mama pulled a gun on me. We definitely need this. I'm not skeeting off in this ever, ever, ever again. Diana had the nerve to get mad at Tariq for being responsible. For not wanting to be in this death trap called a Tejada bloodline. Diana, do you not remember you just on a, like, this is a moment where, you know, like, you'll, you'll see it all the time online. You know, I, I'll look at it because I don't take social media serious. So, you know, you, if you ever see me on Instagram, I'm trolling. 100% of the time, I'm trolling. I don't, I mean, I don't take social media serious. But this is the shit where they will say, Tariq is sassy. 
any guy that would argue with a woman is sassy. It's a lot of sassy. This like, no, Tariq's not arguing with her. He's trying to explain to her dumb ass, listen, we work for Don Carter. You killed a cop. There's a potential chance for us to go to prison for life. Do you really think being pregnant again is appropriate for the time frame that we're in? This is a situation you got to tell Diana. You don't want to, I was going to say, you want to put your hands on her shoulder so she can understand, but you don't want to touch her at all. You just want to sit there and say, Diana, this is not the time nor the place for you to be pregnant again. Oh, brother, this guy stinks. You're fucking delusional. Your mama's on edge. Your brother is trying to marry Noma. Your other brother is fucking with the police. Diana. You work for Don Carter. I work for Don Carter. If we fuck up, Don Carter is putting Felicia's body on all of us. We cannot afford for you to be pregnant again. You're fucking delusional. You need to seek the proper help. There's nothing I can do for you, Diana. Now, are we going to do this with protection or no? Because if not, you need to leave. You're fucking delusional. If you think that I'm knocking this down raw. But if you give me some more drink, then we might be able to reconsider a little bit later on. But right now, no. You're fucking delusional. I said, what the fuck is Diana thinking? There's only been one time I had a woman tell me she was allergic to latex. Well, I said, well, you might as well go home because that's all I got over here. <laughs> that's all I got. Ain't no lamb skin. Ain't nothing like that. It just came out that box. Diana was tripping. You're fucking delusional. Ladies, don't be like Diana. Fellas, be like Tariq. If she ain't going for it, then it ain't worth it, man. Because you about to experience 19 other niggas. And let me tell you something. You about to be on fire. You about to be I'm on fire. <laughs> oh, kid, no, I, I got to give you a new player a prayer cloth, man. I ain't had one since 2022, I want to say. All right, so that was Tariq there with Diana. Let me see where we at. Oh, yeah, we got to keep it pushing. We got to keep it pushing. Y'all y'all got y'all got me effed up. Y'all had me distracted earlier. But you know what? We ain't we ain't worried about it. We ain't making no excuses. We'll bounce back. Well, remember earlier, Brayden was at the hospital, and he called Tariq and said, hey, I just want to scare the guy. So Tariq and Brayden end up having to go and talk to the, to the guy, Steve. Now, Steve is the supplier, allegedly, that was giving Elle that work. Now, she... OD on that fit dog. When they get here, Tariq starts to notice that Brayden, he got a little booger sugar. Like it's a white booger too. It ain't no sugar. It's just white. <laughs> white. He's like, man, Brayden, are you high? He said, look, I just, I just did what Mo did. I just I just I just a little bit to get the edge off. I was nervous that night, man. I was nervous. Come on, Tariq. Help a brother out, man. I was nervous, man. I'd be nervous. So they pull up to talk to Steve, and they're only supposed to scare Steve. But listen, never take a gun somewhere unless you're going to use it. In my lifetime, I've had a gun pulled on me three times. The first time, I called myself being a little, you know what I'm saying, a little dealer. I got robbed, and that's when I realized that the dope game ain't a game that Mo needs to be in. So the dope game was X'd out very, very early in my life. I got robbed probably about three weeks in. As three, it was like three, maybe a little over a month. I'm I'm exaggerating. It's probably over a month. So probably about five, six weeks. I got robbed at gunpoint, and I realized that the dope game isn't something that 
my skills aren't in the dope game. You know what I mean? That that wasn't something that I think that I could thrive in. I probably end up dead. Then I got in when I was beefing with them niggas before I end up moving about the city and moving down to Atlanta. Uh, because my sister told us to go down there and the music started kicking off. I got into it with this crew probably about a month before I uh before I actually fought the guy. And uh they pulled a gun, and that's when they shot up in the air, but everybody ran. And then there was a time that I told you guys we trying to drive about the spot, and the back of my car got hit like three times. So there's only three times. A gun has been pulled on me one time that I actually been shot at. The second, that second time was they 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 didn't really like shoot at us. They were like shooting in the air and everybody like dispersed. But the, the third time is when my car got shot up. But I realized I was like, hey, if you're gonna have that thing on, you better be prepared to use it because niggas is stupid. So Tariq and Brayden, they go over here, and well, they just only about to scare people. When they get up here, Braden's going straight to it. Braden's already on that shit. Braden on that shit. So when they kick in the door, he like, get on the ground now. Get on the ground now. And we're like, all right, shit. They they doing their thing. Tariq in the back, because like, it ain't my girl. You know what I mean? It ain't my girl, so all right, fuck it. Do what you got to do. Brayden pulled the toolie out. Like, your name's Steve? Said, yes, Steve. Nigga, you didn't give my girl that fit. No, he's like, no, 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 no. I didn't do that, man. My product is all right. It's decent. Brayden was like, well, let's prove it. And the whole time, Tariq is sitting there like, this, I'm, I'm going to show y'all exactly what Tariq is looking like. Bear with me. Brayden, chill, chill, chill. Nah, Tariq, nah, Tariq, I got this, man. Do another line. Brayden, all right, bro. Like, we, we just we just can't even scare this nigga. You got to, you can't even call him B no more. You got to call him by his real name. Hey, Brayden Weston, chill, bro. Like, what the fuck are you? Nah, Tariq, nah, Tariq. Matter of fact, let me. Brayden, chill, 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 nigga. Nah, Tariq, nah. You got to do another line. So Tariq is sitting there watching like, man, this is some real white people shit. But then it gets real because Brayden lifts him up off the thing, off the table, throws him over on the bed and don't even hesitate. Just pop, 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 Brayden. What the fuck? You hear the old lady down the hall, hey, what's going on over there? Now you got to tell Brayden you need to go take her out. We can't have no witnesses. We can't have no witnesses. At this point, we got to go take the old lady out. Remember, Kane did it. Well, the difference between Kane taking out that old lady and Braden and Tariq going to take out this old lady is that old lady attacked Kane. Kane helped her with her groceries. She didn't tip him, and then she like tried to grab his arm and shit, so he had to get rid of her. But That's a whole different story, man. But Braden caught a body, like damn, pop, pop, pop. I'm like, Tariq talking about, man, that's how we gonna get caught up, man. Be a sloppy, man. He said, man, I was just trying to scare him, man. I'm gonna be honest with you, Tariq. Damn, how much you think that work gonna go for on the street, Tariq? You think we can take that shit and flip it? You think there's any fitting on? Tariq's like, Braden, what the fuck is wrong with your brain? Like, man, you know, I get on that stuff, I be tripping, man. I be, I be tripping, man. Tariq is upset. Now, I was asking a question from Braden's perspective. Should Tariq have been mad? Fuck yeah. He should have been pissed off when Diana called him over there to that homicide. Tariq, in two episodes, has been drawn into a lot of bullshit by other people's nonsense. Diana called a body, called Tariq over there. Braden called a body. He told Tariq, just come with me. We're going to scare him. And now Tariq is like, nigga. That's two homicides in, 48, well, in 24 hours. Not, not, man, you know, man, I got that drink in my system. So not to snitch on myself, 
man, I ain't never been caught up in no homicides. I ain't never done none of that silly shit. So I can't snitch on myself. Like, what? Tariq's like, nigga, that's two bodies in 24 hours. I'm sitting here like, nigga, I've never been in no bullshit with a body drop. Tariq is like, nigga, I'm trying to graduate college. Your family don't fuck with you, man. If I graduate, I get the goddamn James St. Patrick in Heritage. I got a club waiting on me, nigga. I got a condo waiting on me, nigga. I got the penthouse, nigga. I got the 2014 Escalade waiting on me, nigga. That's two fucking bodies. Fucking Diana and goddamn Braden. You stupid mother. This nigga Tariq is like, nigga. We got two episodes left. In the last two episodes, seven and eight, you niggas didn't put me on bodies. I'm an accessory to two fucking murders. Ah! This nigga Tariq is upset, nigga. 24 hours, two bodies. He has nothing to do with. He said, we're being fucking sloppy, man. How are we going to get caught? These niggas had to go down to fire escape, dog. I know Tariq is like, Tariq got bodies. We need to go. When the season ends, we need to go back and find all the bodies that Tariq is connected to. Because just in this shit, we got we got Jabari, we got Bash, uh, Junior, this body. This is just shit like these are just off the top of the dome. Tariq got about eight to ten bodies. Ray Ray, like damn, man. Tariq been putting in James. I know people keep saying, man, James going to show up in the finale, man. I'm like, man, all right, if he do, he do. But still, as of right now, we got to count it as a body. Dog. 24 hours, bro. 24 hours. This nigga Braden and Diana has fucked Tariq over. That's Tariq's story right there. That's Tariq's story right there. Damn, but that's messed up, man. Oh, yeah, Zion. Like, geez, Louise. Mecca, he was involved in Mecca's body. Because remember, Blanca seen seen the photo of Tariq down in the lobby. Now, of course, Monet did it, but shit, Tariq was still there. Tariq was still playing a part in it. Salim. Oh, shit. Yeah, Proctor. He left the door open for Kane. I mean, for Tommy to get in there. Oh, my God. At one point, Lauren, because remember, Effie took Lauren, but she came back. So, 